Yo, what's going on guys? Nidalee got buffed by Riot this patch. They only gave her 5 movement speed, but it's honestly enough to put her on the tipping point. She's an extremely aggressive early game bully champion, similar to Graves, but she's AP and can abuse Dark Sil Magia, so in a lot of ways she's better than Graves in that aspect. Her biggest downside is the fact that she doesn't scale without Dark Sil or Mesh, so as long as you build those and you're not throwing your stacks, you should scale just fine. Hey, Kha'Zix. We're fast mode now. Switch into Tiger form, hit him with the Q execute, down he goes. The lore on health zone is the more damage your Q in Tiger form does. You want to try to auto then Q them. That way, uh, that way you're maximizing your damage because your Q in Tiger form has more range. And like I said, it does more damage the lore on health somebody is. Whenever you're in a bush, you move faster on Italy. Whenever you're in a bush moving towards an enemy champion, you move extra fast. Or whenever you hit an enemy champion with an ability and you're moving towards them, you move extra fast, 30% faster. We'll go ahead and be aggressive with Kha'Zix early. His first clear is weak. Nidalee can solo full clear around 330 with Leash. It's more like 320, 325. Get that spear toss in. Auto into Q. If you want to swap back into human form to Kai, auto Q. Auto into Q, very nice. So we see exactly where Kha'Zix is. Nice. So what we want to do is invade and kill him, which is exactly what we're going to do. I'm not even going to play for uh, blue buff here. We don't really need it. You can just go ahead and do a full clear, but if you know you can solo the enemy jungler. Looking for the invade feels nice. Kha'Zix doesn't farm the fastest or the healthiest. Setting up an invade on him is pretty easy. Whenever you mark a target with an ability, it puts your W on half cooldown and it also makes your Q do a lot more damage. That's why you're constantly swapping in and out. Get that big juice in. Go and smite him down and we'll look for the invade here. Heal ourselves. You don't actually move any faster in cougar form. We're missing a lot of health. We didn't actually take a potion here. Oh, uh, this must be awarded. He's acting weird. That yeah, must be on award. All right, I'm out. It's kind of funny that they did that. He's looking for something now. He gets the execute. Not bad, actually. Hey, friend. W to EQ. Got it. Feels bad for him. He's in a rough spot now. Q E W. Jump on. Even if you double mark something with your Q and your W, you can still double W and still give it the reduce cooldown both times. I'm trying to drag him into this one. Alright, we're out of here. We gotta go for scuttle. I'm very low. Very low indeed. Heal ourselves, swap back, W, E, auto, Q. We can do another W since I already marked it. With another ability. It's not good to have blind face check stuff. So getting your trap down for some vision in bush is good. If you hit something with your Q, it gives you vision as well, but you have to land it. Auto into Q. All right, I'll trade damage. It's fine. I have to reset anyway, so I don't mind getting a Dark Harvest stack. I'm sitting on a lot of gold. Once you have enough gold for Tier 2 Boots Dark Seal, or just Boots Dark Seal, it's usually when you want to buy. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Grab Boots, grab this. Night Harvest is typically what you want. I would have bought a Control Word if I could have afforded it. Relentless Hunter gives you a lot more tempo than Treasure Hunter in a lot of ways, especially if you have easy ganks on the map, which I think I do. I think all my ganks are pretty easy this game. Want to get that sweet, sweet max range. Ooh, hey, Kha'Zix. He doesn't really have the items for this. And the EQ. Yeah, he's a goner. Nice. I'm glad Thrush didn't try to take the kill. Go ahead and heal ourselves for the extra attack speed. They're probably rotating over here, so what we want to do is get a trap down so we can see. Oh, this is up. No way. Also, you're gonna smite it early to get extra damage from Q. Sick. 
sick. We're going to E then Q. You always pretty much Q last in tiger form because you want the enemies to be as low as possible. Let's see if he comes over here. He may just go top side. We'll make sure. We know where he's at. He might just hop over the wall, but depending on what he's thinking, he would go for Grant first to do a proper full clear. Auto into Q. Get down a bushwhack over there, heal ourselves. Botlane's looking gankable. I think we can do something here. Uh, the water rocking speed up. Just want to come in from behind. This might be warded. They're acting a little weird. We landed it into an E W E Q. All right, we get some uh, dark sealed, some dark harvest stacks, pretty solid. We should take dragon. Ocean drag is literally the best dragon in the early game. Keeps your laners sustained up. The auto Q. Now we can stay in tiger form for two W rotations. Because we marked him twice there. So we get the half cooldown on our tiger W. exactly what we want once again double W rotations back in human form I think I messed up my mark there I'll smite it even though your Q does more damage the lower on health something is you don't typically smite dragon early for Q damage you want to ensure you actually get it I think this is up over here I think I saw Kha'Zix top side so We'll take it. He auto the Q. Another W. All right, we'll go bot. I think we can do it without uh, our AD carries. So we'll see. Maybe not. <clears throat> Got it. It's fine. We'll just split the map bot side. We'll give up our top side camps. Not a huge deal. You generally want to give up your top side for bot side since bot lane playing for drags is so much more important anyways, even on a champ like Nidalee. Your scaling is fine as long as you have Dark Seal or Mesh. Similar to an Evelyn in that aspect, but she has way better invades and ganks than Evelyn early on. She has ranged autos and obviously you have dashes that Evelyn does not have. Auto in the queue. We want to catch this on the edge right there. Maximize our damage. The farther your spirit travels, the more damage it does and the more AP scaling it has. So you get a lot more value. And it goes a long ways. I'm going to swing back bot side. Too important. I'll reset when I can full or full Night Harvester. I'm getting close to it. Not sure where Ka's at. He's a little bit scary at this point. Spear chunk it. Wow, that missed both of them, huh? Not expecting that. Got it on the jinx. We're gonna get him with a Q. Oof. Well played to the thrash. He stalled that out for a long time. Turret's getting pretty low. Kha'Zix is top side. Both of them die bot side. I keep healing myself. Your heal is also an attack speed steroid. I'm just so low on health, I kind of need it versus the MF getting it just for attack speed. Stay for this plate, look for the reset. I'm pretty close to Night Harvester. I mean, we can pick up tier 2 boots or maybe even an early mesh, though. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just pick up as much of it as we can. I'll even go for Sorks Juice here. Going double flat magic penetration when your head is super strong. So you could get, go for Sorks Shoes and then Shadow Flame second full item. Rocket Belt is good on Nidalee. Night Harvester is 
easier to use because you don't have to think about it as much. My harvester is better for most players. What's nice about Rocket Belt is it does give you some magic penetration. Which helps out a lot with shredding squishies and whatnot. Ah, we'll just leave it. Get down a trap into a cute. W E auto cute. We'll line it up here. Lands for free. Took a lot of damage for that. Didn't really see where Kha'Zix was. There he is. Surprising that the uh, Jinx is kind of staying on that. She's going to end up getting herself killed. Auto into Q. She's crazy for staying like this. She can't really do it safely at all. I'm going to hover for the drag. I need to keep MF alive. She has shut down gold. Auto in the Q, drop the W, heal myself. We're going to smite her, go to the bush for movement speed. All right, we're chilling. Oh, that hit. All right, we're good to go. I guess Oriana's camping the wall. She's going to end up getting herself in some trouble. Yeah, she is in trouble. I smited her to make sure I got the assist and Dark Harvest stack. Got the Dark Seal stack as well off that. Oof. Do a lot of damage from that. We'll take Drag. I haven't been farming much lately. Mainly just kind of cheese camping bot. I'm at 9 Dark Seal stack, so it has been panning out. Auto in the queue. Whenever you land an ability in human form, it will immediately take your cougar form off cooldown, so you don't have to worry about not being able to swap back into cougar form as long as you land your Q or your uh, W. Jeez Louise, they're trying to get me there. Max our E second, W last. Laid the W out pretty freaking far. Hop over it, E auto Q. Down he goes. Thresh, try, this Thresh is really tanky, dude. Oh, you're dead. Oh, come on. Doing me dirty. Unfortunate. Going for the double W. So we land a Q and W. All them in a Q. Yeah, Kha'Zix chose to play topside. That's never the winning strat in this meta. Top lane is pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of things compared to Dragon and bot lane. When you gank bot, you impact four players versus ganking top, you only impact two. Way more impact. Ah, oh, it's time to reset. Guess we could look for this real quick. Touch the bush, go fast, plus we're also in the water. Big move in Thresh, auto, auto into Q. Try to stack as much damage as we could. I was holding on to W just in case she flashed. I kind of wanted to go for Medge instead of Night Harvester. It's a bit greedy. Typically you want to finish your first item. We'll go for this, this. I'll follow Thresh around. He's doing some big boy stuff. Our Q's going to absolutely chunk. We have Sork Shoes with the Night Harvester damage. An extra 150 on that. You can go for Blue Jungle item. The thing is, Nid's already so fast when she goes into a bush. Generally speaking, when you go into a bush, people can't keep up with you. And that's kind of the whole point of Blue Jungle item is that extra layer of security to where once you touch bush, you get away. So for Nidalee, typically you go for red more to run people down than anything else, whether you're in or out of bush, since the red slows them. Hop on over, I'm not seeing too much. Auto in a Q, swap human form. We'll tax speed steroid ourselves. 
and that tactical story does last in tiger form. Got it. Auto in the queue. Yeah, that night harvester chunks. Goodbye, Nautilus. Auto in the queue. She's she's not as strong as she thinks she is, honestly. Yeah, she's absolutely not. Soul's doing some stuff. Oof, she flashed it out. Got him. <laughs> Q chunked so hard. <laughs> Holy crap. I needed to weave in more Autolys versus the Jinx and Nautilus. If people are permajuking, the pressure you get is through your red buff or just auto attacks in general, but especially with having red buff. I'm going to go back over. I was going to just flick him with my auto. I think that would have killed since that Dark Harvest and Red Buff. Well played from the Thresh auto EQ. Teammates threw their shutdown gold. I'm the only one on my team with shutdown gold. So even though we have way more kills than the enemy team right now, it only means so much. The enemies aren't that far behind in gold at the moment due to those shutdowns. Dragon up in 57, it is Flame Drag, that's a huge one for crit champs and for Robodon champs. I'm a Robodon champ and obviously MF is a crit champ. They get the most value out of it. Tanks and Bruisers get the least because tanks and Bruisers generally don't have crit and they don't have really Robodon style build paths. So me and MF will get the most value out of it for sure. I'll reset, we're sitting on full mesh. Or 10 stack mesh. And then we'll look for Shadow Flame. If you're not super far ahead after your Night Harvester, you just wouldn't go for mesh. And instead, you'd push for something like Zanya's into Ravadon. That'd be a really safe option. Or if they had a lot of healing, Swain, Soraka, Mundo, that type of stuff, you could even go Morello, second or third item. If we're pretty far ahead, though. It would be kind of a waste if we did that. We have hard smack and damage to where one Q can basically kill somebody if it hits them at full range, even if they're full health. Just gotta stay alive. You never want to die on a perma tempo champ like Nidalee or Evelyn. Dying is a big no-no. Big, big no-no. Even you may say, oh, that's so obvious. Why are you saying something that obvious? It, well, it's not because if let's say you can go and you know you're going to get two or three kills and then you're going to die That's not worth it because you lose the mesh and they get a thousand gold Even if you're going to go in and get four kills unless your team can basically end off of it. It's still not worth Oh Oh, there it is Got him with this my auto Couldn't quite get him with the Q there Oof, Jinx. I should probably lay my Herald. I'm trolling. When you're, when you're in combat with champs or getting hit by a turret, it won't let you. Hey, Nautilus. Oof, missed. Get him with an E, back up. I actually missed my E there. Got him with a Q, though. Why, why am I taking turret? It must be my red jungle. I'm still burning people. I need to get in there a bit. That's big. I missed. No, I missed. Got her with the red red jungle item slow. Still missed my spear. Feels bad. I say we bug her off here. I'm out of mana. I don't have mana. Oof. I gotta jump out. Hey, friend. Yeah, he's very low. He's not as strong as he thinks he is. Got some of his camps. I'm happy with that. 
Go ahead and heal up the Thresh. Thresh is trying to set it up for us. I don't really have that much magic. I'm only at 12 stack. We need to keep getting down traps. It's actually super, super important. Auto in the queue. And I hit it, but it's not a kill. Dang. We'll go ahead and take this stuff over here. Let's take these. Man, this game, this happens a lot on Italy where in your head the game kind of stalls out because it takes time to poke people out. And sometimes your teammates just kind of go in, start doing some stuff. Got with my Dark Harvest. He's jumping around. Oof, he gets away. You're dead. Oh, he had a... Uh, he had Ma. Because I had red, red Jungle Item Burn plus Dark Harvest plus my uh, Night Harvester there. I think that's game, though. What a fun game, man. Hit the Nidalee, or I mean the Oriana. <laughs> Everybody's Nidalee this game. The auto Q, W auto Q. W E Q. W on her head, down she goes, and that is GG's well played. Let's take a look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Keep in mind, a lot of this is just poke damage, though. And for damage taken, we had taken the most in the game. That's actually a little surprising. But I guess we were frontlining a little bit. And then for runes, high value. All in all, Nidalee jungle, massive carry style jungler. She only plays well with Dark Harvest or Mesh, though. If you refuse to build those items, she tends to fall off or to lack that climbing scaling aspect you're looking for in a solo queue style jungler if you guys enjoyed this nidalee video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next time